Hello everybody, Princess Neberry here, and we're back today with another Disney Food at Home remake. Yes! This time we're going to um, Disney Springs. Disney Springs, and what are we going to make there? We are going to make something from the cookbook of one of our favorite chefs at Disney Springs. Yes. Jose Andres. Andres. And Hello. Hello. <laughs> We've never actually made these spachos, but we're going to try it here at the house. Apparently, it's not that complicated. Yeah. So, we're going to go make it, and hopefully, again, we don't do too bad. Again, if there's anything you guys want to see us make, let us in the comments, and uh, we will see you soon. Be sure to ole! You heard the girl. Hello everybody, so we're back and we're done. This Jaleo inspired gazpacho. Jaleo gazpacho. Which look at that beauty. Is actually rather easy to make and requires zero cooking. Took a great care with this one. Because we really enjoyed this and we don't want to ruin our memory of it. It's very true. Well we got all our little uh, our garnishes, so cucumber, some shallot. And some like heirloom tomato with a little bit of sherry on top. I I should. Yeah, don't, don't do that. It's a nice consistency though. So, it's pretty close to what I remember. Maybe not as smooth. Yeah, it's a little more chunky than I remember. But uh, maybe it's time for us to invest in like a higher power, finer food processor. But I agree. Let's find out. So just get in here. I want some. A uh, bowl dink? Dink, there we go. <laughs> Mmm. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's it. Oh, cucumber is everything. I think letting it sit for more than just 30 minutes. Definitely helps. Definitely helps because the flavors are just in there now. It's best if you can serve it, like, super chilled. Yes. Like, almost icy. Cold. Mmm. The uh, Jalea recipe that we found recommended two hours. We definitely let it sit for longer than that. Yeah. Because we want everything to seep in. And um, you can go as far as 24. As long, other than having to like check it up to make sure everything didn't settle, this is good. Mmm. 
I could have this for lunch any day. I definitely give this one four and a half out of five claws. It's not perfect. Nowhere near as good as July Hub because it's the chunky, not as smooth. But I think our first time making a splash, this is pretty good. I'm almost done with my whole bowl. Mm -hmm. I guess this Princess Way of saying that's her jam. That mm. is most definitely my jam. Mm. So I'm going to tell you, if mm -hmm. you haven't been to mm -hmm. Jaleho, I don't know what's wrong with you. You need to go there. Even if you don't get the spot show, they have tons of amazing things on the menu. The they staff do. is excellent. All the wine choices. They have a cocktail bar. They have a patio. Ask for Raphael if you he go to Hileo and Perfect. sit there. Yes. If not... Pepe's is always great. They yes. do have the gazpacho as well. I mean, you can get a sandwich just some other things to go, including some of their drink menu. So mm -hmm. we definitely suggest, if you're ever in the area, to definitely try that place out. Absolutely. If there's any other places at Disney Springs or Walt Disney World Resort at all that you guys want us to try to remake a recipe for, of course, the comments is always going to be a way to place to let us know. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.